So, uh, part one, I guess, of installing the digital instrument cluster for the Mark VI Golf R. Uh, I have an unboxing video if you want to have a look what's in the box, but this is it here. I've already moved the dash cluster, uh, which is pretty straightforward. It's really two screws and a uh, trim remover. I use this one, uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, yeah, I didn't want to go through that. It only took five minutes to do. So it's out, this is the original cluster. VDO gauge, uh, obviously um, great quality in this, um, but um, I want to step up a bit. So when you get this out, you'll start with the, the problems will just begin here. These screws that are in here, these ones, are Torque 8. They're a Torque 8 star screw. Uh, so if you don't have a Torque 8, uh, you'll need to get one. Um, I was luckily had one in my driver set as you can see it's small as anything um so i had it in my panasonic kit here of all my torque screws that i use for working on the volkswagen uh so first thing we do is take these four screws out um yeah so i had to adjust the camera so you can see what i'm doing hopefully it won't be too bad Try and keep my hands out of the way, but you know you all know how to undo screws. Or you shouldn't be doing this. Okay, I have a little magnet attachment on my screwdriver, which just makes life easy. When you uninstall the instrument cluster and you try and get out those small torque screws at the back of the dash, having the magnet, I would definitely recommend. Okay, now unless I'm mistaken, there were some tabs. Hopefully the camera won't wander out of focus because I can't really see it on there, obviously. And we here. Okay. I didn't prepare for the sticker. But there you go. So this is the PCB. Um, and this has to come out. And there are several tabs that you need to worry about. These are locking tabs here. Oh, on. Sorry. These are locking tabs here and here and one up here. They need to be loosened. And then uh, the motherboard needs to come off. take this out first before we do anything else okay Let's see if it's in frame okay so the next part that we're going to do is take off the needles Needles can come off. They're quite stiff, but they'll come straight off if you just give them a bit of a push. Needles hold the back of this component section on. And we will try and undo the clips I pointed out before. So there's one, two here, three here. Four here. Okay. Let's see if there are any other clips. When dealing with things like this, you need to be very, very gentle. If you break this motherboard, you're pretty in trouble. Okay, there's a, a twist lock here. A twist lock here I didn't notice before. 
This is why we go gently, gently. Okay, now there's a ribbon cable here that you have to disconnect. Okay, ribbon cable has two tabs on it. I hope you can see that. One here, one here. When you undo those, it's a typical ribbon cable. And it should allow it all to disconnect neatly. Because it's not pinned in. Okay, now gently, gently. And it's off. This is the inside of the main screen and the back. Okay, I'm going to tidy up a bit. Okay, now the motherboard's completely out. We have to prepare the case from the digital cluster to accept the new motherboard and there are all these clips in it okay be careful with these ribbon cables you could do some damage, and that is the last thing that you want to do. Okay. Okay, now you've got it open. You need to put the motherboard on. Now it's like a jigsaw piece, it'll just fit only one way. There are there are tab there are little dots here where the holes previously were that allow you and force the whole thing to sort of line up. And then we have to put in the appropriate screws to hold it in place. We come a little packet here. Okay, I'm not a professional YouTuber, as you can probably tell, so. Just doing the best I can to help other people who want to come across and do this. Okay, so the motherboard needs to be placed on, like so, and then screwed in. Now the instructions I received said there was a screw here and a screw here. The problem is there is no screw here and screw there, but there are four here and four screws. So. Um, all we're doing is holding the motherboard in place, so let's hope that this is the go. I don't like winging it. One of the reasons I'm putting these instructions up is to prevent somebody else going through the same pain of figuring it out. Now the self-tapping screws. Just need to make sure that you get them all the way in and don't compress the motherboard. Notice the screws have little fiber insulators to make sure they don't touch anything on the board. So you're going to make sure the motherboard itself is central to the holes. Theoretically, that should be it installed. Bring this across. Always being gentle with the ribbon cable. Looking how everything fits before I push it on. There we go, wasn't quite on.
Okay, we have all of them except this last one. Just being a bit stubborn. Sorry, if you can't see my video, I'm sorry. Again. So um, I've got the clips on, I've put in two screws, one here and one here, and that's it fully assembled. We'll go out to the car and put it in next. <laughs> 